Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this new video I'm going to show you how to install Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on Linux and it's very very easy. And we're going to install it with a tool called Plutonium, it is just a launcher for some old Call of Duty games and we can run Plutonium on Linux too and I'm going to show you how. So first of all, open your browser and search for Plutonium and this is their official site plutonium.pw and here you can click download and you can click on download plutonium.exe and it will install an exe file. Now the second thing that you have to do is that if you don't have an account on their forum you have to click on forum right here and it will open this new page which is the forum and you can create a new account here on register and this is very important because you will need this account to be able to play. Now the third step after creating your account is to install a program that lets us install torrent files. Now there are a few alternatives on Linux, you can install Free Download Manager, you can install Qubit Torrent and there are other open source alternatives too. In this case I'm going to install Qubit Torrent, so I'm going to open BAU, which is a program that you can install on Arch Linux to graphically you know, install things, because yes I'm on uh, Cache OS right now, so I'm on an Arch based distro, as you can see Cache, so I can search for Qubit Torrent. And so I can click on install on the official repositories of Arch. And if you're not on Arch or if you don't have this BAU program, you can just open your terminal. And if you're on Arch, you can do sudo pacman dash s qubit torrent. As you can see, it's gonna find it. But if you are on Fedora based distros or Ubuntu based distros, then you have to go in to check for yourself if qubit torrent is available in your repositories or install a torrent program from Flathub. So now, once you have installed your torrent program, we need to open this amazing website, which is called Wayback Machine. And so we open this website, we wait, it's gonna be a little slow, okay? So once everything has loaded, we search for plutonium.pw and we're gonna go into 2022 and June 3rd. So here, and we're going to click the first snapshot. We're gonna wait until it loads, as I've said, it can be slow. Then we're going to click on download again. We're gonna scroll down. And here, where it says download the torrent file, basically this is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This is the, the file of the game, and they have removed this file from their new website, but you can still install it if we use the Wayback Machine. So we're going to click on torrent file and it's going to install the torrent file as you can see and then what you're going to do with this file with this dot torrent file you're going to open your torrent manager program in this case i've installed qubit torrent it's here so i'm gonna open qubit torrent i'm gonna click on open i'm going to select the file which is this one then we're going to click on ok and right now it's starting the installation. As you can see, it has just started. And while we wait for the game to be installed, we can move to the next step. So right now you have to install a program called Heroic Games Launcher. So you can either get it as a flat pack or, or from official repositories. On Cache OS, I can get it from official repositories. So I'm going to open BAU again and search for Heroic. As you can see, Heroic Games Launcher is here in the official Cache OS repos, so I'm going, I'm going to click install. Yes. But the flap pack works well too. Okay, so now Heroic Games Launcher has officially installed, as you can see. I'm going to open my start menu, search for it, Heroic, and I like to add it as, as, as a desktop icon because I like the, the usual Windows style to have desktop icons. So I'm going to now open it and it's spawned in the second monitor, and I'm gonna bring it into the main one. And right here, this is Heroic Games Launcher. So now what you need to do is open the Wine Manager option, click on Proton GE, and click on Proton GE Latest, and install Proton GE Latest. So now you just have to wait until the latest Proton GE version is installed. And once it's installed, we can go back to Library, and we can click on Add Game here. We can call this game Plutonium Launcher. Then if you click on the app image file path, it will automatically find 
an image for this program, then you can click on Show Wine Settings, and on the Wine version, instead of using whatever it's going to default to, we're going to click on it and select Proton GE Latest, which is the one that we have installed right now. Then if it if it is bug if it's bugged like that, that you can see the other options down there, you can just resize the app, and you can click on Run Installer first. Now here is where we are going to click on the .exe file that we have installed, which is a plutonium.exe. So we're going to click on it and we're going to wait until it opens. And as you can see, it's right now opening and it's installing the plutonium launcher. Now installing plutonium might take a while, it might take a couple of minutes, so don't worry, just wait, it will finish. Okay, so it finished downloading uh, the plutonium launcher and here you can put the username and the password of the account that you have created on the forum. Now, by username, it actually means the email, so if you put your username and the right password, it's actually going to give you an error, and you have to put the email that you have used to create your account, and then the password for that account, and then click on sign in. Okay, so once you have logged in, you have to click on T6 multiplayer, which is Call of Duty Black Ops 2, as you can see from here, and now we still have to wait until it finishes installing the program. Okay, so here we are, it has finished downloading the game and it has created this folder called Pluto T6 Full Game. So we don't have to do anything with that folder, we just have to go back to the Plutonium Launcher, we have to click on Setup and this Wine File Chooser will pop up and we have to select where we have installed the game. So I'm going to click on the dash here, we're going to click on Home, this is the name of my account, so you're going to click on the name of your account then, for me, I have installed the game in the Downloads folder, so I'm going to click on Downloads, I'm going to find the folder, which is this one, Pluto T6, and I'm going to click on Open. As you can see now, it says Play, but we're not going to play right now, we're going to actually close the launcher, and we're going to select here, where it says Select Executable, we have to click on the folder, and we have to actually find the executable. So we're going to click on Prefix, Drive C, Users, Steam User, App data, local, plutonium, bin, and here it is. We're going to select this one right here, plutonium launcher win32.exe. And then we're going to click on finish. And here, as you can see, it has created our game. We can also add it as an icon on the desktop. As you can see, add a shortcut, so we have it here. And if we click play right now, it's going to launch the launcher. We are back in the launcher again. And here on Black Ops 2, we can click on play. And also, you can also play Black Ops 2 Zombies. So now, if you click on play, the game will launch. But I'm going to change the resolution because, you know, this is not the right resolution for my monitor. And after that, we can click on online. Then we can click on server browser. And here I'm going to categorize by the numbers of players a server has. And we can click on a random server and just, you know, server is full, okay. So let's go into this one. And the game is gonna load. I've actually never seen this, this map right here. Now keep in mind that this game doesn't have an anti-cheat, so there's going to be... Quite a couple of hackers, you can you can be lucky and find some servers without hackers, but it's gonna be very tough. But you can still have fun with this game. And as you can see, it is working properly. The game is running fine. You can unlock all weapons also with the one command. I don't remember which one I've used to unlock every weapon and every skin for every DLC of the game. But you can do that and unlock them for free. The game is working fine, I'm getting a nice amount of I'm getting a nice amount of FPS. I still see I seem to always get around 110 and 120 FPS with this game. And now you have successfully installed Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on Linux. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. And if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It's, it would really really help the growth of this channel. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.